Good morning, guys. Good afternoon. Or probably while you're watching this, it's evening. So good evening, guys. So right now, as you can see, what are we going to talk about? Come on, tell me. Okay, we're going to talk about bromeliads. Pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ang bromeliads. So as you can see, these type of plants are very good uh, for house plant. Kasi these bromeliads are uh, good for house plant because they needed low light. They like shady uh, areas, and at the same time, in in their natural captivity or natural state uh, talagang naka ano sila naka cling sila sa mga bark ng trees they cling to the bark of trees and because there are epiphytes so as I have mentioned before in my previous blogs uh, epiphytes mean that they can cling to the trees using their roots and at the same time uh, they get, uh, but they are. I think they are not uh, that kind of parasite. Uh, they cling to the trees to get sunlight, and at the same time, uh, pag umulan, uh, they can get enough uh, water para sa ano nila, sa kanilang sustainability. So yon. Ngayon, titingnan natin kung anong mga classing bromeliads to mga to. Uh, according to my research, or I'm not. Um, somewhat familiar with mga bromeliads. Every time na bumibili lang ako sa mga sa mga flower shop or uh, sa mga gardens in Baguio and in other part of the country, ang sinasabi nila magandang halaman at the same time makulay pero tignan ba natin kung anong klaseng halaman sila. Ngayon uh, judging on their appearance sila ay monocot so sila ay monocot which means that like their grass relatives they have a special form of photosynthesis uh, that uses a variation of more usual biochemical pathways to allow them to use water more efficiently so notice natin guys kung titignan natin epiphytes sila they cling to the trees and at the same time, pag diniligan natin sila dito sa mga pot nila, di ba may mga nag stay ng mga water sa kanilang mga uh, leaves. It's their ano, one way for them to adapt para makakuha ng enough water at survive. Because in their natural state, nandun sila sa trees, kulang ang water nila. So meaning, pag umulan, magi-stay ang water dito, meron silang enough water to uh, survive and uh, escape yung pagkakaroon ng dry out where there is limited water. Ngayon, check natin kung anong tawag sa mga to. This is a bromeliad guzmania. Yan, so tandaan na natin, bromeliad guzmania mga kaibigan. And at the same time, uh check natin, meron silang parang flower. I think this is the flower pero uh, doon sa nababasa, inflorescence ang uh, term nila. Wherein it is defined as uh, foliage na may certain colors, bright colors. Now, uh, makikita nyo itong klase ng bromeliad na to sa mga orchid shop and at the same time sa mga flower shop sa mga gardens at pinibenta nila kasi uh, matitingkad ang mga colors nila they are good sa eyesight although ito kasing medyo nagtagal na rin ito kaya kita natin medyo nagda-dry out na but as you can see, hindi pa ito mismo yung flower niya kasi tingnan po natin ito guys oh. this is a proof that this is just a foliage and it's somewhat changing its color when it reaches it, yung top niya. So, there you have it. And, karamihan ng mga bromeliad, 
hindi gaano na, uh, nagkakaroon ng ganitong klaseng spe- spectacular uh, view but we're lucky to have one this Guzmania Bromeliad Guzmania and it's so beautiful it has different colors uh, for this one we have uh, or- orange red color but sa iba merong yellow and at the same time merong talagang bright orange now we go to this one this is what we call bromeliad deseria uh, correct me if I'm wrong sa pagkakronas ko pero parang yun yun briseria I haven't uh, seen mga videos about this one uh, I only saw the name and this is briseria splend- splendens yan as you can see, ang characteristics niya guys is it has leaves like this. Variegated siya. Titignan mo, para siyang spider plant. And uh, I guess this is a form of uh, defense mechanism sa part niya. Kasi, oh, look oh. It is somewhat scary at first glance because you might think, look, oh my god, this is a snake. But as you can see, the who uh, for uh, the who plant looks like a good one, and it has inflorescence like this. It's shaped like a sword, compact foliage that brings out brighter color. So yeah, so this is somewhat an amazing plant that we can put in our house, and uh, it is it has somewhat low maintenance why because you don't need to put this in the sunlight all you have to do is uh, put it in a shaded area like for example sa mga uh, living room or even uh, near the near the house porch yan so uh, sa part ko nandito siya sa aking uh, greenhouse because I, uh, nung inexpose ko siya sa sunlight medyo Mainit kasi banda dito sa area natin ganito. So, yun. And I will show you some other bromeliads na meron tayo dito sa garden, guys. So, let's go. Hello, guys. Uh, once again, we're here to feature another plant. And this is what we call bromeliad. I'm not familiar with the specific name, but it's part of the bromeliad family. And as you can see, it's already starting to produce its flowers <clears throat> also this one another bromeliad type of plant you can see the beauty actually this is not yet the end product or the uh, main flower itself Mag- open pa yan we'll try to open and check this out and Ilalabas pang small flowers. Maganda siyang tikin. Last for a couple of weeks. So here guys is uh, one type of bromeliad. Uh, I haven't researched on the name. But uh, matagal na po to sa house natin. Uh, kung check yung location natin, nasa taas tayo ng puno. We're somewhat on top of the tree. Yeah, so this is a proof that the, uh, the bromeliads are epiphytes, most of them. And uh, with that, you have an idea kung anong medium ang gagamitin natin. Uh, you can either put them in a pot uh, with some coconut husk or uh, other medium medium <laughs> isang bromeliad na variegated yan gonna check the leaves meron siya mga spikes so somewhat nakakasugat siya so it's a protective measure para siguro hindi siya gano'ng insectivine or mapeste so, so 
wala pang bulaklak dito. But as you can see, meron siyang bagong growth. So, dumadami sila. This is another type of bromeliad. So, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina guys. Oh, look, oh. It's okay to put water on top of the plant at mag-stack to ng tubig kasi yun yung means of survival niya when it comes to uh, dry season. Yan, at syempre sa bahay dinidilikan pero what if nasa ibang lugar siya Yun. at walang magdidilik sa kanya or walang rain so this is the means of survival and unlike uh, doon sa mga previous vlogs natin about orchids na hindi dinidilikan sa taas ito kaya niya na mag stay ang water eto guys yung isa sa bulaklak niya uh, medyo nag dry out na kasi matagal na rin ito and hindi ko na document yan. yan but I have a picture and I will insert it in the video so that you can see yan this one also is uh, one of my collection bromeliad collection and check natin guys oh napaka sharp nung mga ano niya spikes niya like this one and another fact uh, about bromeliad is that part po siya ng family ng pineapple so we have this bromeliad and uh, before nasa maliit na pat ito and it has lots of growths or mga small na uh, bromeliad like this so what we did was to separate those uh, growths or small bromeliads and put it here in this tree and with what we did is that we put coconut husk like this and nailed it in the tree at eto na ho after a few months yan we growth na rito. Ito, malaki na. Ito, malaki na. At, yan. And actually, namulaklak na rin siya. But, tapos na natin. So, after mamulaklak, wag itapon. Instead, you take care of it and probably, it you can propagate it. Like this one. Yan. Dumami, guys. Oh. And, nag-cling sila sa tree. Ito yung roots niya. So there you have it guys. Thank you very much. I hope to see you sa next vlog ko. And please keep watching and stay tuned sa mga next na vlogs po natin. And keep supporting this channel. I hope to see you soon. Thank you. God bless and happy gardening guys.